Today we explain and show you seven algorithmic trading strategies and examples complete with trading rules and backtests. You might wonder what algorithmic trading is. It's the same as automated trading and uses a computer program that follows a strict set of trading rules to buy and sell without human intervention. It's often referred to as algo trading. However, before we show you the results, please be advised that nothing in this video is investment advice. On the screen, you see the equity curves of all these seven algorithmic trading strategies we present in this video. The best one is the last, so make sure you stick to the end. Without further ado, we go straight at it and show you the first algorithmic trading strategy. Can a strategy be improved by averaging down or scaling in? Scaling in is when you divide your capital into at least two parts and you buy at different predetermined intervals. For example, if a stock drops to 85 and you buy, you might buy more if it drops to 80. Does this make sense? Let's show you a strategy example where we trade the ETF that tracks S&P 500, SPY. The original trading rules are simple. We buy on weakness and sell on strength, and we use the QS exit, the exit we invented, and which is used all over the internet. We exit a position when the close is higher than yesterday's high. The equity curve and performance is good, and the average gain per trade is 0.59%, and the average return of 8.5% is just a tad lower than buy and holds 9.6%, despite being invested just 22% of the time. But let's change the entry rules. Instead of going all in, we invest just 50% of our capital on the original buy rule, and we add the remaining 50% when the five-day RSI value drops more than five percentage points compared to the day before. For example, from 33 to 26. The scale-in rule improves the trading strategy a lot. We get the same returns, but with a lot lower risk. The scale-in strategy is on the right. The time spent in the market drops, and as a result, max drawdown is reduced from 23 to 17% and lasts for a shorter time. However, such a scale-in strategy only works in assets that tend to revert to the mean, like stocks, for example. Let's go to our second algorithmic trading strategy, sell the rip strategy. A lot of focus is spent on when to buy, but just as important is when you sell. To show you how, let's make a sell the rip algorithmic trading strategy. We start with the following trading rules. We use a classical RSI strategy on the S&P 500 index where we buy on weakness and sell on strength. The strategy is profitable, but not tradable in our opinion. The strategy is not consistent and suffers from huge drawdowns. Let's change the sell rule. Instead of using a RSI sell rule, we sell at the close when the close ends above yesterday's high. The sell signal is what we call the QS exit. The strategy improves a lot compared to the original sell criteria. The improved version is on the right, and not only is the strategy much more stable, but you also reduce drawdowns and increase profits. Okay, let's go to our third algorithmic trading strategy. This one trades SPY on the first trading day of a new month. The first trading day is not necessarily the first calendar day, so we emphasize that this is a trading day. The trading rule is simple. We go long at the close of the last trading day of the month and sell at the close of the first trading day. The first trading day of the month performs much better than any random day. The average gain is 0.25% and offers a wide margin for commissions and slippage. We've even improved the strategy for our paying members and you can see the equity curve on the screen. And by the way, a simple trading strategy is to own stocks the last five trading days of the month and the first three trading days of the new month, something we call the turn of the month trading strategy. The equity curve on the right is that particular strategy, and on the left, it shows the performance of being invested in S&P 500 at all other times. Basically, all returns have come at the end and beginning of the new month. Let's look at our fourth algorithmic trading strategy. This is a pullback trading strategy and trades S&P 500. The trading rules are simple. The main idea is to have a trend filter, which is the 200-day moving average, to make sure we're in a long-term bullish trend. For the short term, we want to buy on weakness or a pullback. Our ALGO pullback trading system grows 100,000 to 1 million today, which is a 10-bagger. Annual return is slightly below buy and hold, but you're only invested less than 30% of the time. The fifth systematic trading strategy is called Fabian Timing Model. 
It was developed by Richard Fabian in the 1960s and is a quantitative long-term trend following strategy for the stock market. It's based on an intermarket signal between the S&P 500, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the utility sector. The buy and sell rules for the Fabian timing model are simple, and they're executed at the end of each week. It's a very simple strategy. If all three indices are above its 39-week moving average, then be long S&P 500. Sell when at least two indices are below the average. We coded the strategy in Python, and it's outperformed S&P 500 by a wide margin since the year 2000, despite being invested circa half the time. This is an easy strategy that you can run automatically at the end of each week. Let's go to our sixth algo trading strategy, a momentum strategy developed by the famous money manager Meb Faber. Unlike the Fabian timing model, this is not a market timing strategy, but a momentum and trend following strategy that trades stocks, bonds, and gold. We use the ETFs with the ticker code SPY, TLT, and GLD to backtest the strategy. You invest in each asset where the three-month moving average is above the 10-month average. If it's not, you stay away. It performed really well until 2015, but has since then performed much worse. The annual returns from 2005 until today is way below the historical average, according to Meb Faber. The long-term historical average is 13.1%, and that's achieved with significantly lower max drawdowns than owning stocks. The seventh and last of today's algorithmic trading strategies is a strategy that's available for our paying subscribers. It's a mean reversion strategy and trades S&P 500. It has just one variable to buy and one for when to sell and was published years ago. 100,000 invested in 1993 and compounded until today has returned about 15% annually. The strategy has managed solid returns despite being invested just 35% of the time and with significantly less drawdowns than buy and hold. We've now given you seven algorithmic trading strategies and examples. As you can see, algo trading doesn't need to be complex. The main advantage with algorithmic trading is that it gives you power because you can trade many automated trading systems from your computer at home. This is how Jim Simons and the Medallion Fund made 66% annually for 30 years. Such systematic trading as we've shown in this video can indeed be done on your own if you're willing to learn and spend some time on it. More importantly, you need to learn how to backtest strategies, something you learn by trial and error. Once you can backtest, automation is just a minor step. Profitability has nothing to do with complexity, quite the opposite. The less complicated you do your quant training, the more profitable in the long run. But you need a systematic mindset and believe in the law of large numbers for the odds to pan out. Let's summarize the video by briefly discussing the pros and cons of algorithmic trading strategies. The pros and advantages are, in our opinion, obvious. Let's list them one by one. One, you make the strategies. The computer does the heavy lifting once you have the strategies. No need to stare at the screen all day. Two, you can focus on developing strategies, not doing the trading. Three, automation lets you trade plenty of strategies. The time spent trading is the same if you trade one or 50 strategies. Four, you're less likely to make behavioral mistakes because you keep a layer between you and the actual trading. You're less likely to override trading signals. Unfortunately, there are some cons and disadvantages. One, it requires some coding. You need to invest some time in learning. Two, experience via trial and error is important. Three, you need to work for the strategies. Nothing is served to you on a silver plate. Okay, that's all for today. We hope you've learned something about quantitative and algorithmic trading techniques and that you're motivated to keep learning. Please stay tuned because the next video coming up about eight quantitative trading strategies shows you even more free algo trading strategies. Also, if you like this video, please help us make more videos like this by pressing like or subscribe. Good luck trading.